Google's Tensor G5 is set to make waves with the Pixel 10 series, and the biggest reason? The all-new chip is ditching Samsung and going fully in-house with TSMC's cutting-edge 3M process. That's a huge shift, and it raises the question, how did Google, a relative newcomer to the chip game, pull this off? Rumors from late last year hinted that Google was cutting ties with Samsung for its next-gen chip, and now a fresh report from Android Authority has all but confirmed it. This will be Google's first fully in-house chip, and here's what we know so far. The Tensor G5 will continue to use ARM Cortex CPU cores, which isn't surprising since most Android chips rely on ARM's designs. However, Google is making a big change by switching to an Imagination Technologies DXT GPU instead of the usual Mali. A new GPU could mean better gaming performance, an area where previous Tensor chips have struggled. Google is also swapping out Samsung's Exynos display processors in favor of the VeriSilicon DC9000, which will handle display control and 2D GPU tasks. But perhaps the most exciting change is Google's decision to develop a fully custom image signal processor. Pixel phones are already known for their incredible photography, but Google previously relied on third-party components for image processing. With an ISP built entirely in-house, we might see some major improvements in camera performance. We'll remain a core focus, with a next-gen tensor processing unit refining what the G4 started. Performance has never been the main selling point of Pixel phones. While the Pixel 9 Pro holds up well in daily use, it doesn't compete with Snapdragon's top-tier processors when it comes to raw power and gaming. That's why the switch to a new GPU is so exciting. Could this finally bring Pixel performance closer to flagship rivals like the Galaxy S25 Ultra and OnePlus 13? And then there's the camera. Pixel phones already dominate mobile photography, but now that Google has full control over the ISP, we could see even more improvements in image processing. Are you excited for the Pixel 10 and its new Tensor G5 chip? Do you think it'll finally close the gap with Qualcomm and Apple, or will it still lag behind? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, take care.